The stories and headlines from home and abroad at the top of the hour with Laura and Martin. Tonight, the First Minister denies playing politics over a botched ferry contract. The businessman who owned the yard where the over-budget ships were built claims the deal was rushed through by ministers. It's not right. In fact, he's flatly wrong uh, to say that. Why don't you put your hands up and say the government got this spectacularly wrong and that you're sorry? I'm obviously very regretful for the fact that the uh, ferries have been so delayed. Ahead of new peace talks, Russia's ruling out a face-to-face -face meeting between Presidents Putin and Zelensky. It was an extraordinary night at the Oscars. <laughs> oh, wow! Who overstepped the mark, the actor or the comedian? We'll be live in Hollywood. I want to apologise to the Academy. I want to apologise to my, all my fellow nominees. Love will make you do crazy things. Coming up in the sport, Scotland captain Andy Robertson returns as head coach Steve Clark promises changes for tomorrow's trip to Austria. And later, the childhood sweethearts newly wed after more than half a century apart. Welcome to the nine. It's the multi-million pound shipyard deal the Scottish Government must wish it could sink out of sight. Seven years ago, two ferries were commissioned to provide lifeline services to the islands. But five years late and wildly over budget, they are still under construction and unlikely to be sailing until at least the end of next year. And the row deepened today when the First Minister flatly denied allegations her government had played politics with the contract. Jim McCall, the entrepreneur who owned the Ferguson's Yard, claims the deal was rushed through without proper checks because the SNP wanted to announce it at a party conference in 2015. Nicola Sturgeon said today that was absolutely, flatly not the case. Now, last week, a damning report found the £97 million contract was given to Ferguson's without a guarantee that the money would be refunded if something went badly wrong. The final bill is now expected to be at least £250 million, with official documents showing several senior SNP figures, past and present, were involved in the decision-making process. Nicola Sturgeon is under pressure to address the controversy in the Holyrood Chamber tomorrow. Our political editor, Glenn Campbell, has this. When the